So let me show you how you go ahead and erase the information on your iPad and make it just like new. And welcome of course to the Geek Tech Show and in today's video you'll be learning how to reset your actual iPad and make it just like new or of course if you want to sell it to somebody else and protect all the information from getting into those thieves and letting them steal everything from you. First thing you have to actually do is to go into this button right here, press on this once and then you press on where it says your name on it. After you do this we are going to go into where it actually has a cloud right here. Press on the cloud once. And next thing you have to do is to turn off the cloud preference. So everything right now is in the cloud. Now the mistake would be to turn off this button right here and it's going to do absolutely nothing and in fact it's going to mess everything up. Instead you want to go where it says iCloud backup but that is also not needed another mistake in here as well what you need to do is just to press on find my iPad and to turn this off just slide it to the side just like that now you have to remember your password oh yes <laughs> now Next thing we're going to be doing is connecting this to our actual laptop because we have to go and turn off the most vital step which is to reset it back to factory setting. So let's do that. So when you're inside your laptop all you have to do is to go where it says over there and we are going to go and try to mount the whole iPad right on this location so when you mount it in you will see it show up over here and then you have to go in and back it up so the first step for you is to go where it says in the menu in the iPad itself where it says back up now before you go into it you want to go into this huge menu that shows everything about it so if you can't find your iPad the first thing you have to actually do is to go and look for the iPad on this menu and to do that you have to press on this button all the way at the top that looks like an iPad like a miniature one after you press on this you're going to have a whole bunch of different screens for you to pick from and the one you want to actually press on is going to be all the way at the top where it's going to say restore iPad so that's the correct one for you to press on so that's the thing that you have to press on. But there's other options for you as well, such as backup now, restore backup, and so on. But the one that we'll be using is the restore iPad. By pressing on this, the next step for you is to press on go and restore it. So after you press on go and restore it, you want to go in and press on done. And now it's going to go and start processing this whole file and it's going to go into and download the software and restore it all the way from scratch. So this is it. This is all you have to do in order for you to back up your iPad and restore it back to zero. This way it's going to be super safe and nobody is going to steal your information because now you went in and you erased everything and you put in a brand new operating system inside. Now this doesn't actually wipe out everything in there. So if you want some forensics to go in and look at stuff in there they can still actually find it so you have to be super careful with that part so it is really good for level one protection which is protection from people who are just gonna get it but it's not great for protecting if you're working for the CIA like some government agency and so on for that step I suggest for you to use super magnets that's right you want to use pk magnets and go and use them in order to wipe out all the information on the ipad just rub the magnets around it but this actually might destroy the ipad itself so there we have it i finished setting it up and it is good to go 
Now keep in mind, if you don't have the original password, you will need at least access to the original phone that has the actual code to this iPad so you can reset it. That is the final and most essential piece of this to restore this back to factory setting. Another thing is if you did enjoy this video, please subscribe to this channel and see you in the next one.